So we're going to talk about doing loops in Linux terminal. Uh, so this is very useful if you have multiple files or you want to run multiple uh, commands at one time. So here I have just a list of dog types. So if we look at dog types here, you can see I just have a list of a few different dog types. So of course we can just cat and look at it here but let's do a simple example here so we're going to do while read line do echo line done and then point towards the file <clears throat> so here we're just reading every line in the file and assigning that line to this line variable here and then calling calling it here when we echo and then it's just pointing towards this file here so if we do this we should get every line printed but as opposed to when we catted it it actually went line through line here into this so next um, why don't we make directories for every line in that file but first actually let's um, just get rid of the space and that extra blank line at the end here using vim right. so um, clip some of this for line and actually I'm going to do this in a new um, dogs I'm going to make I'll read line do make der dogs line. What was this? Dog types. Dot text. So if we look in here, if we look at dogs, now there's a directory for each one of the lines in that file and now um, why don't we make a file in every one of these directories that's just it's just going to be a file with the dog name and we'll call it that dog name dot text so I'll read line do um, echo line and we're gonna put it in the dogs slash line slash line dot text and it might get confused here so we'll just put brackets around that one and done dogs So again, we're just reading every line in the file, and then we're echoing that line, so the dog name, and then we're saving it as a text file in dogs, that directory name, and then we're calling it um, just the dog name.txt. So here now, if we look in dogs, and then, I don't know, let's just pick golden. We should see golden.txt. And if we look at that, it should be dogs golden golden.txt. And we see it just says golden, <coughs> golden inside of it. So next, instead of looping over a file line by line, we're going to loop over multiple files at once. So in this dogs folder, we had these dog directories with the dog text file in each. So let's copy the text files out into the dog's parent directory. So copy dogs every folder and then put the text files out into dogs. So now if we look here, we see that we have the dog directory and then the dog text file in this dogs directory. 
So if we want to loop over only the text files, we'll go something like this for file and dogs, and then we have to specify only the text files. Do cat, let's just uh, concatenate them into one uh, file. So cat file um, and two all dogs dot text done. So we're looping through every file in dogs that ends in dot text and then just appending them onto a file called all the dogs dot text. So now we see we have all the dogs dot text. And if we look inside, we have now all of the dogs. <laughs> and they should be uh, in order alphabetically, or the order that Linux puts them, the files in. Alright, so you can also um, do slightly more complex commands. So let's remove all the dogs.txt here. Let's bring that command back up. And here I'm just going to show that you can add multiple lines here. So um, you can have it do whatever. So we can say echo uh, hello. And then maybe we wanted it to um, cat the same uh, text twice. We could just do this again twice. All dogs text. And then we could even do one more. Let's just have it echo the actual um, dog that it's working on or what what file it's working on. So we can just have it echo uh, the file. So file done. So this is going to get a little complex here, but see, we go through each of the files and dogs that end in .text. We cat that file to all dogs .text. <clears throat> we also echo hello, and that's why it shows up multiple times every time it goes over a file. And then it also uh, cats the um, text the file again to all docs.txt. And then it also echoes again just the file. So what actually is the file variable? So that's what it is here and it's showing here.